We pledge allegiance to your flag of the United States of America and to your republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for whom? For you, for some, not for us, not for our people. So please stop saying we're equal with your flag is red, white, and blue. You beat us. You beat us until we're black and blue. You beat us until we're numb. You beat us until we can't even walk straight. Uh -huh. And you throw us in chains for the ones who are lucky. But for the ones of us who aren't so lucky, you chose to put our hands up on some type of sick tribute to your privilege. And then you pull the trigger. You pull the trigger until our bodies lay down in your ground. You pull the trigger until your clip is empty. You pull the trigger until we make the evening news. And when our children cry, we have to look our children in the eyes and tell them that they have to be cautious when they walk your streets. And that they have to do so in fear. And that they have to spend an entirety of their life looking over their shoulder because you will hunt them down. And you will burn them either in a prison system that aims to disenfranchise them and the dirt beneath them. And this is all caused by that same racism you love to say doesn't exist anymore. But that same racism is the reason why when we want to put a hood on, we resist. That same racism is the reason why when we go to get these jobs, we're dismissed at the door. That same racism is the reason why when we go to shop, we're being washed in their stores. That same racism is the reason why us saying a puzzle of allegiance feels more like a root canal or a whip to our flesh or a baton to our neck or a bullet to our back or a tear gas at a Black Lives Matter protest. And it hurts that I have to remember that the system I was born into was built to work against me. And it hurts that I have to remember that you will happily invest more money into the preservation of wildlife than you ever will into the preservation of black life. Let me ask that question. When y'all turn on y'all TVs and witness another dead body laying down on the ground, what do y'all see? Another murder? Another sad story? Another funeral? You see the aftermath? I see a little child who just lost their father. Another single woman trying to raise a man. Another boy is going to grow up and suffer the same fate as their father, which means another woman is going to outlive her adolescent son. This country practices a culture that lacks equal rights for blacks. And I know I'm far from patriotic. So it's a little ironic that I pledge allegiance to your flag of the United States of America and to your republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for who?